Hi, everyone. Uh, just thanks for joining me today. I thought I would record a quick video of uh, what happens when you are connecting a smart board with Crestron's XIO cloud account and then basically what it looks like uh, both from the cloud account perspective and from uh, the board perspective in terms of uh, turning on the settings, configuring the settings, going through the claim process uh, and then just a, a, a quick uh, run through of some of the, the the key functionality that you can perform with the XIO cloud. Uh, so what I've got here and I'm sharing with you right now is I've, I've got a uh, I'm capturing what the screen is showing uh, on a MXV4 that I've currently got set up uh, and then as well uh, the cloud account for XIO cloud. Uh, and what I wanted to do just right out of the uh, gate, I just wanted to talk about uh, setting up the board uh, so that uh, you can now register it on the XIO cloud. The first thing you need to do, of course, just make sure you got access to the internet. Uh, with with the board. This can either happen with either Wi-Fi or with Ethernet, um, but make sure you have that because otherwise it's not going to be, you're not going to be able to do what you need to do. So make sure you got your Wi-Fi turned on. That's number one. And then uh, second thing, of course, is make sure you got the version of IQ that supports this brand new broom control feature. And that's actually where you'll find it is underneath the, in the settings in IQ, you'll find it under uh, uh, application settings. You'll see a room control option. So I'm going to go up to the uh, IFP. I want to touch that room control option right now. And now if you'll notice, there's a couple of different options here. One is for Crestron Connected version two, and then the other one is for Crestron XIO Cloud setup. So uh, this is how you enable our, uh, our IFPs to be a part of either one or both of those experiences. Um, the uh, because what comes along with their certification with Crestron Cloud and the amount of work that we've been doing in the background is all our boards are now uh, enabled to be, and we've got uh, we've done all the programming on, underneath the hood uh, for them to be endpoints in either the Crestron Connected, which is the in-room management uh, and, and control of your IFP, or with the Crestron XIO Cloud, which is the, again, cloud-based control. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and launch Crestron XIO Cloud settings. Now, when I go do this, uh, basically at this point, what I'm doing, and I'm going to press the connect button, and what this connect does is it's now registering with the Crestron ecosystem. And that's what it says right at the very bottom. It says, please claim this device on uh, XIO Cloud. So it's registered uh, or is in the process of registering with the, the Crestron XIO uh, Cloud system that this device is uh, able to be claimed by, by somebody. So in order for it to be appropriately claimed by somebody on the XIO cloud, they need to know two things about this board. And both of them are available on this setup screen. One is what's the MAC address? So they need to know the MAC address and that's uh, labeled and shown directly beneath the uh, Crestron uh, banner. Uh, then the second thing that they need to know is the serial number of, uh, of the display. And again, uh, we conveniently display this on the setup screen. So as long as you have those two items, uh, whoever uh, is, wants to claim this board and add it to their XIO account, uh, cloud account, they can go ahead and do that. So let me go ahead and I'm going to sign that in now to the XIO, uh, to the Crestron XIO cloud. So here it is. Uh, I've now logged into uh, the XIO uh, cloud account. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in and I'm actually going to uh, go and claim this board. And how I do that, I go into the groups area and there's a little sub menu that's opened up here. If I click on this sub menu, I have the ability to claim the device. So I go to claim the device. And as I mentioned, it asks you for the MAC address. So let me just enter that in. There we go, that should do it. So now I'm gonna go look at claiming. So what it's gonna do now, it's gonna go out, it's gonna have a look for that device, uh, see if it can find the combination of a MAC address and serial number. And once it's been claimed successfully, it identifies for me. And so it says this device has been claimed successfully. So that's great. 
I can now close this. OK, so what we see here is uh, the, the board has identified that it's connected. It's been claimed um, and, and so it's successfully uh, been linked with the XIO uh, portal. If I go to the XIO portal and if I have a look under unassociated devices, I'll see that the board has been placed here. So at this point, um, it doesn't know what room it's supposed to be associated with, but if I try to click on it and do anything, it tells me that I need to be able to move it to a room in order to enable functionality. So what I, all I need to do is just simply drag it and drop to a licensed room because it's through licensed rooms that uh, Crestron does all of its licensing and, and enablements of XIO Cloud. And it will automatically, uh, uh, when, when I just drag and drop, it'll populate it into that room. And now when I go click on the device, I get additional capability with it. So I can see the status of the device. I can see power status, uh, inputs, see the available inputs that, that are uh, available, uh, get to see uh, the volumes and additional information about uh, network and any alerts uh, that are on there as well. So as I click on settings for the board, uh, what happens, I can see here that I have control over uh, input and volume on this particular uh, menu. Uh, I'm just going to walk, just walk up to the board and just put it on the main screen, the main IQ screen. So uh, let me just give you an example of one of the things that, that, that we can do. I can go over here to select input and then instead of none, let me go in underneath here and instead I want to choose the OPS. So that's what I wanted to do. I'm just going to save changes. If you notice now it just takes the changes and it applies towards the, uh, uh, you know, to, towards my display. So it's automatically changed uh, my, my input onto my display. Uh, same thing here, if I want to go apply a volume change, uh, I want to move it from, I don't know, 47 down to 47%. I want to save changes and you'll notice that there it is. Uh, it, it identifies on the IFP and it's automatically changed that volume as well. So that's that's great. I have control over inputs and uh, and volume. Uh, what else can I do? I'm just going to change this back to none. I'll, I'll apply it. And what it's going to do is it's just going to bring me back to the input lobby uh, on, on the IFP. The other thing that I can do is I can go in underneath uh, actions here. If I go to the drop down menu, I can power off my display. And then I don't have to apply that action. It just automatically uh, applies. And you can see here that it's uh, it's been grayed out. Um, and then when if I decide that I want to power on the display, I can go back to power on. It automatically applies. And, and, and there we go. So here it is. I've got control over my uh, IFP from the uh, Crestron XIO ecosystem. Additional capabilities come here in terms of the type of reporting uh, that, that that's that's available. So uh, everything from any active uh, alerts that may have uh, occurred over the last time, the device statuses, that sort of idea. Depending on the types of devices that are in the room, there's additional types of reporting that that that's available to uh, to show up. So this is a, a quick overview of uh, again XIO. Uh, a little bit of a tour as to how it looks like in uh, in the in the in the portal, as well as the, the, the setup and experiences that you will see on the smart board. Thank you.